హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ సో టుడే వీ విల్ టాక్ అబౌట్ ఎ పేటెంటెడ్ డాక్టర్స్ అనసెటిక్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఎ పేటెంటెడ్ డాక్టర్స్ ఆర్థరియోసిస్ యాక్చువల్లీ ద పేషెంట్ ఈస్ ఎ ట్వంటీ టూ డే ఓల్డ్ న్యూ నెట్ దట్ ఈస్ ఎ ప్రీ టర్మ్ అండ్ న్యూ నెట్ థర్టీ టూ వీక్స్ విత్ ప్రీ టర్మ్ అండ్ డయాగ్నోస్డ్ విత్ మర్మర్ వెయిట్ ఈస్ వన్ పాయింట్ టూ కిలోగ్రామ్ అండ్ హీ ఈస్ పోస్టెడ్ ఫర్ ఎ పేటెంటెడ్ డాక్టర్స్ ఆర్థరియోసిస్ రిపేర్ సో ఫస్ట్ వీ విల్ శ్రీ సో వాట్ ఆర్ ద కాసెస్ ఆఫ్ లెఫ్ట్ టు రైట్ షంట్ సో ద కాసెస్ ఆర్ ఏట్రియల్ సెప్టల్ డిఫెక్ట్ వెంట్రికల్ సెప్టల్ డిఫెక్ట్ అండ్ పేటెంట్ డక్టస్ ఆర్టరియోసిస్ ఓకే సో దెన్ నెక్స్ట్ వీ విల్ సీ యూజువలీ వాట్ ఆర్ ద కాంప్లికేషన్స్ విత్ కంజనటల్ హార్ట్ డిసీజ్ దే ఆర్ యూజువలీ లైక్ ఇన్ఫెక్టివ్ ఎండోకాడిటీస్ కంప్లీట్ హార్ట్ బ్లాక్ దర్ విల్ బి లైక్ అ త్రోంబ ఎంబోలి ఎంబోలి కాంప్లికేషన్ then uh, poly uh, cytemic uh, complication cardiac uh, arrhythmias they are very prone to cardiac arrhythmias uh, then patent uh, ductus uh, arteriosus it is uh, the congenital uh, heart disease uh, there will be like a persistent vascular uh, structure between the descending aorta and the pulmonary and the main pulmonary artery so uh, next we will uh, see about what is a normal uh, fetal uh, circulation the normal uh, fetal uh, circulation uh, it is uh, that uh, umbilical vein Uh, that carries the oxygenated uh, blood uh, and uh, it divides into portal uh, sinus and the ductus uh, venosus uh, the ductus uh, venosus is usually bypasses the liver it doesn't goes to the liver it bypasses the liver and enters directly into the inferior vena cava where is the portal uh, sinus it will enter the uh, liver so uh, all the blood will go to the right atrium where majority of the blood goes to the left atrium through the patent uh, foramen ovale so from uh, so all the blood goes to the left atrium from left atrium it goes to the uh, left ventricle and from left ventricle the blood will go to the uh, brain and the uh, heart so but uh, part of the uh, blood in the right atrium that comes uh, through the superior uh, vena cava uh, from upper part of the body and the upper limb so they uh, directly uh, enters the right uh, ventricle so from the right ventricle usually the blood will enters the uh, pulmonary artery but wh- what will happen due to high resistance in the pulmonary artery during the fetal period the blood is uh, centered uh, directly to the aorta through the patent uh, ductus arteriosus so here only the mixing of the saturated and the desaturated blood is uh, taking place and uh, this uh, blood supplies the lower part of the uh, body Uh, after uh, when the baby delivers what will happen there will be like a sharp uh, drop in the intrapleural uh, pressure that is minus 25 to minus 50 mm mercury uh, it leads to the sudden uh, lung expansion and the increase and uh, there is a drop in the uh, pulmonary uh, vascular resistance due to drop in the pulmonary vascular resistance what will happen there is a more uh, increased pulmonary uh, blood uh, flow increased pulmonary blood flow and this leads to drop a drop in the right atrial uh, pressure below the left atrial uh, uh, pressure so this uh, drop in the right atrial pressure will uh, will cause the functional closure of the foramen ovale and uh, the umbilical cord uh, clamping uh, it will uh, increase the systemic vascular resistance uh, which maintain the left atrial pressure which maintains the left atrial pressure more than the right atrial pressure and uh, uh, this will uh, Uh, this will uh, make the uh, foramen ovale to uh, close okay with rise in the uh, partial pressure of oxygen uh, uh, levels uh, the flow through the uh, ductus arteriosus uh, will uh, decrease and uh, it leads to close up so what is the clinical significance of patent ductus arteriosus it depends on uh, the uh, how uh, uh, how is the magnitude of the left to uh right uh, uh, shunt so actually uh, it, the magnitude of left to right shunt depends on the size of the patent uh, ductus arteriosus and also the pressure gradient uh, between the pulmonary uh, vascular uh, pulmonary artery and the aorta that is the uh, pulmonary vascular resistance and the systemic vascular resistance so then we will uh, talk about embryological development of the heart usually the heart, uh, heart will be formed uh, completed by about 55 to 60 days uh, post uh, conception by age of 2 to 3 years the cardiovascular system is essentially fit to that of your adult cardiovascular system uh, develops after 3 weeks of uh, gestation and the beating heart uh, will uh, uh, start uh, soon after the 3 uh, weeks of uh, gestation the chamber formation will uh, uh, will be uh, as early as 5th uh, uh, week of uh, uh, gestation and the wall will be formed above. around 7 uh, weeks of uh, gestation so what will happen uh, the proximal portion of the sixth pair of the embryonic uh, arch so they will uh, form the proximal uh, branches of the pulmonary arteries the distal portion of the left uh, sixth arch forms the ductus arteriosus it will 
so it will uh, connect to the left pulmonary artery and the left dorsal aorta so what are the uh, like uh, causes and the risk factors of uh, patent uh, ductus uh, arteriosus so the risk factors are first of all uh, the prematurity is the most important uh, risk factor and uh, autosomal recessive with incomplete uh, penetrance then a uh, trisomy uh, 21 that is a uh, down syndrome then a uh, carpenter's uh, syndrome in carpenter's uh, syndrome there is a single gene mutation and uh, x-linked mutations that is uh, incontinent uh, pigmenty then the first trimester uh, rubella infection will cause patent ductus arteriosus then amphetamine and uh, phenytoin uh, consumption by the mother then a uh, poor controlled uh, diabetes in the mother uh, usually the prematurity occurs in 5 to 10 percentage of the live, uh, live birth and uh, just uh, usually the in prematurity the gestation age is less than 37 weeks so there is a moderate and a severe prematurity in moderate prematurity the gestation age is uh, between 31 to 36 weeks of gestation and severe prematurity uh, the gestation age is uh, less than uh, 31 weeks of a gestation so what are the problems of a uh, prematurity problems are uh, respiratory there in prematurity there will be respiratory failure will be there recurrent pneumonia will be there apneic spells will be there uh, respiratory distress syndrome hyaline membrane disease uh, bronchopulmonary dysplasia patent ductus arteriosus uh, malnutrition necrotizing and uh, enterocolitis a uh, poor uh, GA motility and uh, function there will be anemia then a uh, growth uh, failure metabolic disturbances uh, kernic terrace uh, fractures failure to thrive uh, hypoxic in, uh, ischemic encephalopathy retinopathy all these are the uh, complications of prematurity so the uh, uh, in a pre the pre uh, patency of the ductus arteriosus it is due to low oxygen uh, tension and also cox mediated uh, pro, uh, products of arachidonic acid metabolism uh, primarily pge2 and pgi2 so the pge2 and the pgi2 they interact with the prostonide receptor results in vasodilatation so what will happen after but there will be like increase in the oxygen uh, tension this uh, oxygen tension will inhibit the smooth muscle potassium channels uh, by inhibiting the uh, smooth muscle potassium channel uh, causes uh, uh, calcium uh, influx and uh, uh, ductal uh, uh, constriction so the PGE2 and the PGI2 uh, levels uh, uh, falls due to increased metabolism in the lungs and the stoppage in the production, uh, production of uh, uh, PGE2 and I2 by the placenta uh, usually the functional closure will occur uh, by 24 to 48 hours and the anatomical closure will occur 2 to 3 weeks. So what are the pathophysiology of a left to right uh, shunting? Due to left to right shunting, uh, there will be... Uh, so uh, usually the uh, right to left shunting depends on the resistance of flow through the ductus uh, and also it depends on the elasticity, length and uh, uh, diameter will decide the resistance and the pressure gradient between the iota and the pulmonary trunk. So the left to right shunting will lead to pulmonary over volume, over uh, circulation and left heart uh, over uh, load. So increased uh, pulmonary circulation will lead to increased work of uh, breathing and, uh, and uh, in some patients pulmonary edema will ensue. So the volume overload results in a rise in the end diastolic pressure of both the left atria and the left ventricle. So the left ventricle initially compensates by increasing the stroke volume but later on the left ventricle hypertrophy will start on. So the increase in the heart rate is due to the catecholamines that is due to neuroendocrine adaptation. So all the above factors will lead to subendocardial ischemia due to mismatch between the oxygen demand and the supply. So uh, what is the Eisenmenger syndrome? So as the time goes on, the pulmonary vasculature uh, changes with the time uh, due to high volume and the high uh, pressure. There will be like increase in the pulmonary vascular system due to hypertrophy and fibrosis of the vascular system. Uh, results uh, due to fibrosis and uh, 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 hypertrophy of the vascular system results in luminal obliteration of the pulmonary arteries and the capillaries. Uh, when the pulmonary vascular uh, resistant exceeds the uh, systemic vascular, uh, 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 vascular uh, resistance then what will happen the shunting will reverse from uh, first from left to right to right to left so this reversal of shunt uh, uh, from right to left is called Eisenmengerization and the syndrome is called Eisenmenger uh, syndrome so uh, the child with uh, uh, patent uh, ductus uh, arteriosus uh, usually they present with uh, uh, poor uh, growth uh, breathlessness uh, easy uh, fatigability uh, tachycardia and uh, uh, frequent uh, uh, lung infections so uh, what are the physical examination uh, findings they will be having a prominent uh, or a uh, bounding uh, uh, peripheral uh, pulse then a uh, systolic hypertension will be uh, increased due to increased stroke volume and there will be low diastolic uh, uh, pressure then uh, uh, first heart sound is normal but second heart sound is uh, um, uh, there will be like uh, masked by the murmur then a uh, continuous uh, 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 missionary murmur is heard along the left uh, uh, 
left uh, sternal uh, border radiating uh, uh, down to the uh, left side of the sternum and into the back in uh, sometimes the thrill may also be uh, present so the pulmonary blood flow exceeds the systemic uh, uh, blood flow so causing the left sided uh, uh, volume overload which increases the blood flow uh, from the left atrium to the left ventricle across the mitral valve so it will cause the rumbling murmur so, uh, across the mitral uh, uh, valve so the uh, babies with Eisenmenger syndrome, they will be having a differential uh, sinosis uh, under clubbing of the uh, toes, but not uh, fingers. Uh, due to uh, right to left ductal uh, shunting is uh, distal to the uh, subclavian arteries. Uh. So what are the investigations? The chest x-ray usually shows a uh, cardiomegaly uh, with enlarged left atrium and the left uh, ventricle. Then uh, pul pulmonary edema will, can be present in the chest x-ray. Calcification of PDA will also be seen. Then ECG shows uh, sinus uh, tachycardia or atrial uh, fibrillation. Then a larger uh, patent uh, ductus arteriosus uh, uh, will cause a uh, left ventricular hypertrophy. So ECG shows the uh, sinus uh, tachycardia or atrial uh, fibrillation. Okay. Then uh, uh, premature infant will be having a larger uh, T wave uh, with a larger PDA, they will be having T wave inversion and uh, ST segmented depression, suggesting the ischemia or the supply demand uh, mismatch. Doppler will confirm the diagnosis. M mode uh, echo will uh, show the chamber size and quantify the left ventricular systolic function. Uh, small PDA, the chamber uh, sizes are uh, normal. Then a uh, moderate to large uh, PDA, uh, left atrium and the left ventricles are uh, enlarged. Then uh, two dimensional imaging will uh, describe the uh, geometry of the ductus. So the color uh, do, uh, Doppler is very sensitive in uh, detecting the uh, existence of the PDA and the amount of uh, uh, shunting. Uh, actually, usually the therapeutic uh, catheterization is the treatment of choice for a patent ductus arteriosus. Uh, it, uh, uh, therapeutic catheterization helps to assess the pulmonary vascular resistance and amount of shunting uh, before the transcatheter uh, closer. And also, uh, the therapeutic catheterization helps in assessing the vasodilating agent, how it acts, like oxygen, nifedipine, prostacycline, sildenafil, and nitric oxide uh, in patients with raised uh, pulmonary vascular resistance. Uh, what are the complications of uh, patent ductus? It is a congenital, uh, like congestive a heart failure, there will be like atrial flutter or fibrillation, hypertensive pulmonary vascular disease, end arteritis, and a uh, ductus arteriosus aneurysm. So what are the treatment options? First, uh, medical management. Medical management, we can give indomethacin 0.2 to 0.3 mg per kg in the first 10 to 14 days. Three doses of a 12th hour intervals is recommended. Then you have to use a uh, fluid restriction. Antiarrhythmic uh, uh, drugs can be used. Then uh, vasodilators uh, such as uh, PGI2, calcium channel blockers, endothelin antagonist, and uh, uh, passport diesterase uh, uh, inhibitors, uh, type 5 inhibitors. All this uh, can be used and other drugs that can be used are uh, digoxin and uh, diuretics. So what is the surgical management? Transcatheter closer of the ductus arteriosus, the success rate is uh, 92 95 percent. But uh, the complications are bleeding, rupture of the blood vessel, tachycardia, bradycardia, vascular occlusion, inappropriate deployment of the device, migration of the device and incomplete closer of the ductus. So what is the surgical closer? For very large uh, PDA, surgical uh, ligation or division of the PDA is a treatment of choice. If uh, PDA is an inadequate length, if a PDA is of an inadequate uh, length, then uh, patch closer or cardiopulmonary uh, bypass uh, can be done. Uh, the success uh, uh, rate of this uh, surgery is uh, 94 to 100 uh, percentage. What are the complications of this surgery? The complications are bleeding, uh, injury to recurrent uh, uh, laryngeal nerve, then uh, thoracic duct disruption will lead to chylothorax, uh, then uh, injury to the vagus uh, uh, now ligation of the left pulmonary artery, ligation of the distal aorta, pneumothorax infection, mortality, etc. So what are the anesthetic uh, uh, consideration? In non-restrictive uh, center, the determinant of the blood flow is uh, uh, of uh, uh, the resistance of pulmonary and the systemic vascular uh, blood. So what will happen? Left to right uh, uh, shunt will, uh, will result in increased uh, pulmonary blood uh, flow. Then a uh, volume overload of the uh, pulmonary circulation. To increase the stroke volume and the uh, heart rate for adequate systemic perfusion and uh, this uh, increases the cardiac workload of the left ventricle. The excessive blood flow will also result in an increased pulmonary vascular resistance. So increased workload on the immature heart due to non-compliant uh, heart, then a restricted ability to change the stroke volume uh, and also the cardiac output is uh, more of a rate uh, dependent. Okay, in patients uh, with a PDA, we have to take a proper uh, birth history and maternal drug history. So we have to ask about sinuses, exercise intolerance, uh, then uh, feeding uh, history, medications, uh, uh, previous uh, cardiac uh, surgery, etc. 
then a proper management of a physiology is a more important uh, than a specific anesthetic technique. So what is the pre-medication goal? Goal is to achieve the adequate uh, sedation and uh, maintain the respiratory and hemodynamic stability. Premature neonate sedation is not uh, required. Monitoring will be like pre-cordial stepto, uh, pulse ox, ECG, NIBP, pre-incisional uh, monitors are IBP, hourly urine output, uh, use of AGL uh, stepto, then a temperature monitoring, CV for measurement. What are the other monitors? Other monitors are uh, Doppler uh, transducer, ETCO2. So other monitors are uh, Doppler uh, transducer, uh, end tidal uh, CO2. Uh, ABG appropriate antibiotics uh, uh, against bacterial endocarditis. Anesthesia induction. That is, first we have to do the pre oxygenate with 100 per volt. Fentanyl 1 to 3 micrograms per uh, bolus. Inhalation agent uh, is uh, CO fluorine can be used. That will uh, decrease the systemic vascular resistance and improving the left to right shunt. So, positive uh, pressure ventilation is well tolerated. Then, maintenance of anesthesia with the low dose uh, uh, fentanyl, uh, 1 microgram uh, uh, per kg. Then, high dose of opiates. Uh, are uh, not uh, tolerated uh, as they cause a very high hypotension. Uh, muscle relaxant, vecronium uh, or a pancronium uh, can be used. Maintenance of anesthesia with air, oxygen and inhalation anesthetic. post of ventilation is needed uh, due to prematurity of the uh, baby. So what are the other uh, concerns uh, during the uh, PDA surgery? That is uh, blood loss, hypoglycemia, hypothermia, systemic hypertension. So the ligation of the PDA is associated with hypertension which is managed with sodium nitroproside. So as in uh, summary, the anesthetic uh, goals are to decrease the shunt uh, flow, maintain the uh, cardiovascular respiratory stability to provide adequate tissue perfusion and oxygenation. So in the uh, transposition of the uh, great vessel, we have to keep uh, open the pulmonary artery and the aorta. So the prostaglandins will be used to keep the pulmonary ductus arteriosus uh, open. Okay guys, thank you very much for listening to this video. Have a